More North Queensland banana farms are improving their environmental performance, bringing benefits for local waterways and the Great Barrier Reef. While some growers have been using better practices for years, others are now coming on board thanks to a set of guidelines known as Best Management Practices, or BMP. Okay, since the BMP was introduced in 2013, we've had 90 growers in North Queensland participate, which represents over 50% of production in North Queensland. We will continue to promote it. You know, obviously we've had a great start with the program, but we will continue to promote it because it's with everyone doing their part in actively improving their activities that will get the greatest gain as an industry. Everything we're trying to do is aimed at improved environmental performance as well as maintaining sustainability and, and improving our cost structure. You know, the fact is, is that many of the benefits that we gain from environmental performance are actually to the benefit of the farmer as well and it's recognition of that that is going to help us achieve those environmental goals in the longer term. Ultimately, it's in the farmer's interest to retain that soil on farm. It's very hard to farm bananas in the Great Barrier Reef or Lagoon and so retaining your soil on farm is absolutely critical to the long-term sustainability and future of the farmer as well as the environment. The Gaia family's farm near Silkwood, south of Innisfail, was the first banana farm certified by assurance program Freshcare. Two years later, in 2011, they received a prestigious Banksia National Environmental Award for the extensive wetland they built on their farm. As an industry, I reckon we're um, doing things um, a lot better now, and people are trying different, different practices. I think that now a lot of people are, are doing things differently and for the betterment of, of the reef. Near Innisfail, Craig Buchanan uses best management practices for everything from preparing paddocks to preventing crop pests and soil loss. Yeah, well, the fallows aren't bare at all anymore. We do the work in the dry season so there's no risk of, of losing soil from rainfall and by the time the storms come in sort of November, December, it's, it's all grassed up and there, there's no loss out of, out of these paddocks whatsoever. The GPS programs we're using these days make it a lot easier. Pretty much we'll put in a computer program, design the contour and the gradient we want, plug it in the tractor and it drives it for us. This paddock here, you can see we've got the cement drop structures to, to lessen the grade, but we put a cement waterfall in and then we bring it at 1% from there down to the next next drop structure so and then the paddocks contoured as well the rows so if we do lose any soil out of the rows which is unlikely we'll pick it up in the grass waterways yeah we can get quite heavy rainfall events and the water coming down these waterways will be clear yeah you could drink it just about I'd say my father was probably doing this 40 years ago with sugarcane in in the Narada area and it's just, yeah, we've always been able to see the benefits of it with um, nutrition, not losing any of our fertilizer or chemicals, topsoil, it's the most important thing in the farm. So, yeah, it's just something that we've always done. At Silkwood, the Lizio family's banana farm has sediment traps to filter runoff. They restored one acre of riverbank lost in flooding after Cyclone Larry hit in 2006. We're very lucky, they were, uh, they were originally just two lagoons on the farm that worked as natural reserves and all we've done is uh, dig them a little deeper and make them work efficiently and, and turn them into sediment traps that uh, you know, work really well, uh, that catches all the water from this farm and uh, yeah, they work really efficiently. We realise that the reef's been around a lot longer than us and, and we really want to uh, take care of uh, what we've got so special up here. Um, but also for us as growing, Trapping that topsoil and, and replenishing it back into the ground, um, that's what bananas thrive on and uh, it's really important that we, we get that soil back out there. After a natural disaster, an acre of land can just be thrown into the river system and go out to sea, so it was really important that if we hadn't got into this um, river bank and, and restored it, that over years of floods, we only would have lost more and more soil out to the reef, so uh, by, by getting the ground back, restructuring the river bank and bringing the, the river back to its natural course, we were able to uh, save any more soil erosion. Mark Darvanizer is one of the banana growers who's a Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority Reef Guardian. His family has been using environmental practices for decades at South Johnston, near Innisfail. We've been implementing environmental practice for the last 20 years and initially started with uh, 
revegetation along our creekways. Uh, we then started looking more into it and actually enjoying some, some of the um, processes. The ducks have returned, bird life has returned, owls have returned, uh, the top line predators have returned as in eagles and, and crocodiles. Uh, I've paddled in the river all my life, it's paddling in water has been my sport and you never saw crocodiles in the river, you could still swim in the river but you can't do that anymore. Uh, that shows you how well the uh, ecosystems come back. Probably the part I've enjoyed the most is going to other industries like sugar and the fishing industry and the cattle industry and seeing what they're up to as well. And everyone seems to be very highly motivated in trying to uh, protect our reef because it benefits us all. The banana industry is obviously committed to long-term environmental performance and, and we know that we have more that we, we can do and we need to do. So. You know, we're absolutely committed to achieving that. I think we've made some really significant gains in the past 20 years, but we recognise that we can do better and we want to do better. And so we will seek to work with industry, other, other industry partners, other industries, as well as researchers, to identify those activities that will help us achieve an even better environmental performance. The banana industry in North Queensland has already made great improvements in its environmental performance and for the sake of local waterways and the reef, it's ready to make more.